Hey there, Scorpios, and welcome back for another awesome August love reading. Shout out to all of the beautiful Scorpios of the world. I hope this video finds you guys vibing highly here, Scorpios. I hope you are magicianing your life here, Scorpio, because it's all about you and what you co-create. It's about the power that Scorpio has within, and it's time to tap into that energy, Scorpios. So check it out, Scorpio. This is another lovely, beautiful, amazing, um, general love reading for my Scorpios. And we're going to check out your tea here. Uh, there will be an extended reading for my Patreon members, too. Uh, feel free to join me on Patreon, Scorpios, as well. Shout out to my beautiful, amazing Scorpio members, my highly favored members. Shout out to my Scorpio subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If you are new to this channel, I am Brown Eyes here at Brown Eyes Intuitions. And if you are a Scorpio, then we would love to have you because it's all about the Scorpios over here. It's the only Scorpios channel here. So we delve into Scorpio-ish, okay? Uh, so feel free to hit that subscribe button and uh, hit that notification bell to all. And also let me know in the comment section below if you are newly subscribed to this channel. Uh, so let's see, you know, every, it's, it's general. It's not going to be the same for everybody. So I'm going to pull a couple of different scenarios before I do your overall energy. So let's see. Spirit, what message do you have for Scorpio? What is the T on Scorpios? What is the T that Scorpio needs to know at this current time? Spirit, what is the T for Scorpios? What is the T for Scorpios? All right, let's see. So you have lobster, financial pinch. So someone may be uh, going through some things financially here and you may feel like, you know, uh, family sorrow. Somebody family may be going through it. This could be a family connection here. You, you and your family could be going through a financial pinch at this time here, Scorpios. What else for this lobster energy, energy for Scorpios? What's going on here? What is the T for Scorpios? Happiness, see, but you're about to be happy again. Ooh, so I feel like Spirit is telling you don't lose your peace. Even though things may seem like they're in a pinch right now, you may seem uh, like kind of challenged financially, but Spirit is telling you your energy tables, hard work ahead. The tables are going to turn with your hard work. With a little hard work and persevering, the tables will turn and you're going to get your happy back. But I feel like what Spirit is telling someone here, that regardless of what you're going through, your attitude and your energy plays a vital role in your outcome. So don't get caught up on the appearance of failure. It's just a deception. here. It's just for you to up your game and to choose to be happy in spite of, Scorpio, because I feel like your hard work um, is going to pay off. All right, one more card for this lobster energy for Scorpios. Target a goal oriented person here. See, see, whatever you've been working on, you may, you, you may, it's almost like you're trying to reach the, a, a deadline here. It's almost like you're really you're pouring your heart and soul into a project here. You may not be seeing the results, but your hard work is going to uh, pay off for you. For some of y'all, Spirit is telling you, uh, create you a goal here so that you'll have a visual so that you'll know the target, so that you'll have something to motivate you towards here uh, in order. And Spirit is telling you, you're going to have to put a lot of hard work in it, but your hard work is going to pay off because as long as you're in this happiness energy, either, either you should be happy in the times of opposition or in the time of opposition is going to bring you towards happiness, Scorpios. And that's for somebody here who may be in a financial pinch here. All right, now let's see about somebody else. All right, Spirit, what else? You got any more energy, Spirit? What's the T? Uh-oh, what's the T for Scorpios? Wow, misunderstanding. So there is a separation with someone here. There is a misunderstanding between the two of you and that's placed a wedge between a connection here. All right, Spirit, what's going on with this wall here? And it almost seems like it, it I feel like whatever this misunderstanding is, I feel like it, it grew. It, it, you, you know how when something happens, you don't immediately deal with it. You know what most people uh, do when uh, the, the fire is turned up in a situation, they tend to run. What they say, if you can't stand the heat, get out the kitchen. Most people can't stand that Scorpio heat. Let's just keep it real. And they run, okay? But at the same time, sometimes Scorpio may run too. So I feel like something that could have been minor at first may seem like it's going to be a very, very challenge to get back to a place 
because you, it's almost like you're going to really have to put their hard work in just to get back, uh, uh, you know, because if it's a misunderstanding here, I feel like it grew. It probably wasn't even that bad, but because you didn't handle it right or they didn't handle it right, you may have avoided it here. Now, now somebody's looking like, guy, you know, something has grown and, and I don't think that we can get it back. Somebody may be feeling like they can't, they cannot uh, repair uh, the damage that is done here because maybe it has grown here. You got dog close up, pleasure with a close friend. Mm. Maybe somebody here was all up on you here. Maybe somebody was all up on somebody here. It's almost like somebody, somebody, um, I see, I see two friends here. I see two friends who've been friends, a masculine and a feminine, or it could be masculine, masculine, feminine, feminine, take it how it fits. And someone crossed the line here. So obviously someone has always felt a, a, a attraction towards the other person, but they didn't talk about it. I feel like now someone here has started to cross the line here and it has presented or created a misunderstanding uh, because maybe somebody got the wrong impression here. It says pleasure with a close friend. I feel like somebody didn't want that with them. And I feel like somebody across the line here. Now, you could have been dealing with somebody here who you thought that y'all really was just buds, you know, and they crossed the line. And now there's a big gap. There's a big space between the two of you. All right, Spirit, what else for this wall for Scorpios? Diamond, you'll be receiving or giving a precious gift here. See, I feel like somebody wants to make it up because somebody feels like you misunderstood them. And, and I don't feel like, well, I don't know. This, this is what I'm feeling because this is what I'm seeing here. This is why I got multiple stories out here. Maybe one of them, of them will be for you. But it's almost like somebody know that they crossed the line here. And so th they don't want to lose. You know, they didn't get to be, uh, they didn't get to have the, um, the benefits, uh, they didn't get a chance. Somebody thought that maybe something was going to move, involve more than just a friendship, uh, and it didn't happen. But I feel like now this person does not want to lose the friend. So they're going to try to come back in and buy you a special gift to make things up because they don't want to lose a friend. So somebody, somebody took a chance and, and they shouldn't have. It's like, don't rock the boat. Somebody rocked the boat when they shouldn't have. It wasn't a problem. You know, that's, that's usually what, what the world does, isn't it? It's like, it seems like when, if there's masculines and there's feminines, if you are, if you meet a, a man, he automatically feels like you're supposed to be his chick on an intimate level. But maybe you're not supposed to be all of that. Maybe you're just supposed to be friends. What is wrong with friends? Y'all, what about your friends? Do, do, I mean, whatever happened to people looking for real genuine friendships here, it's almost like they want to rush this friendship. It's like, it's almost like most men feel like they cannot be friends with a female without being with her. And, and, and that messes something up here. It says temporary problem. See, I feel like this is going to work out. It says temporary problem. I feel like it's cloudy between the two of you because I feel like you guys really were friends. Now, it could be two females here. It could be two females. It could be two males here. But somebody clearly crossed the line here. And, and, and like I said, they had the best of this person as a friend. Like I say, people, it's just like, why, why stir the bowl? Why rock the bowl? You know, if you're blessed to have, because believe it or not, it's really easy to find a romantic partner. But do you know how hard it is to find a genuine friend now? And so it's okay if the friendship leads to more if both parties are in agreement. But if one person is in their head and fantasizing wrongly, thinking wrongly, then that's going to bring a whole cloud over this relationship. And I feel like this is the scenario for somebody here. Somebody crossed the line. They regret it. They feel like, you know, they feel like something that something got out of hand. Um, Maybe somebody thought that somebody was giving them mixed signals here. Maybe somebody feels like somebody was giving them mixed signals here, but maybe somebody was just comfortable around this person because they're friends. 
You know, like I say, when you're real, real friends, you like family, y'all. So maybe somebody took that as a sign of an invitation here, but I feel like they regret it now and they would rather have their friend than anything else. And I feel like somebody's going to try to make it up to you. All right, one more scenario. All right, Spirit, what's the tea on Scorpios? What's the tea? What's the tea? What's the tea? What's the tea? Because you show here sitting here uh, the overall energy as the freaking queen of wands. I know that. Somebody with a page of cups is like somebody over here crushing on you. All right. So we have needle and thread. It says a sincere wish will be granted. So somebody's wish is about to be granted here. All right, Spirit, what's going on? What's the tea for Scorpio with this needle and this thread? Mm. You got Lily, spiritual love. See, this is a part of the needle and thread. Uh, your a, a sincere wish will be granted. Here you got the Lily, honey. Spiritual love. You can't go where you got cup. You should accept valid criticism. Mm. See that? I see kite. Vacation. I see leg. It says stepping into a new experience and you have fire. Strong emotion, passionate love or hate. Ooh. Then you got the moon changes in your life. See, something is happening in somebody's life here and it seems mysterious. It seems almost, I feel like something's going to happen for somebody that's going to be so powerful that you're not going to believe what is going on here. So with this, you should accept valid criticism. For some of you guys, your, your sincere wish is going to be granted here, and you're going to have people that's going to try to make you feel bad because you you got something good coming. And Spirit is just telling you, just, 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 you know, just don't even take it to heart here. Somebody may, somebody may be traveling with someone here. I feel like this, this wish that is being granted to you is going to change a lot of things. A lot of people that you used to hang around, you're not going to be able to hang around them because this is bringing a major change in your life with this moon energy. It's going to start ex um, exposing a, a sincerity or fake energy. I feel like somebody may have been, you know, somebody, it's almost like your life changes, things start happening good for you, and then somebody around you don't like it, so they're criticizing you, trying to make you feel bad because you're not either giving to them or you're not paying attention to them. It's almost like you may get a chance to do things that's because this is what you wish for, and somebody may see you rising here too. Somebody may see you rising to the club. Somebody may see you traveling a lot. Somebody sees you stepping into a new experience. They, somebody say this is the new you and they don't like it, okay? They say, where are you getting all of this new you at? Especially, well, look, check it out with the Queen of Wands. Somebody say, how dare you uh, find your passion again? I don't feel that about myself, so why do you feel that way about you? But it's only for you to see because as you begin to elevate, you're going to see who is supposed to be in your life and who no longer serves any purpose in your life here. See? Excitement, because Spirit said you might as well get excited here and let them let the rats go on, let the rats go on about their business here. See, see, they talk. I told you, discord among friends or family. See, somebody got family members, or it's almost like folks is fighting and talking crap about you because you're not out here helping everybody, or you're not. It's almost like what what you have. Cause check it out, a needle and thread here. Do you, do you know how challenging it is to thread a needle? I'm talking about even with your glasses on. Now, you know, back in the prime days and, you know, because, you know, I'm just saying here, you could thread that needle. Like, like I call my young child to thread my needle. They can do it just like that. But now, <laughs> child trying to thread a needle and then they, I can't, they, it's either going to get one of those thick, thick mouth needles with a big hole or those little bitty, you get them from the dollar store and they look like little bitty. <laughs> You dang, they got to get a magnifying glass just to thread the needle here. So in other words, you have really, really had to put that work in and persevere. And those people here who family or friends who are gossiping and busybody in here, there's uh, agitation here. They don't know your struggle. 
This is for some of the spirits say they don't know your struggle because they're too busy looking at what they can get out of you. Somebody does not like that you're going that this is the new you and that the way that they used to know you, you're not that person anymore. So whether it's a love relationship or family, friends, no one is able to um, manipulate you because I feel like what is for you is for you. It's almost like you're in this fire energy where you really don't care about what they say or what they think here. It's like you're a firecracker here. See, and people not going to like that here. But like I said, spirit is only uh, allowing all this to happen because every time you elevate, you're going to find out if people really are supporting you or people are jealous. Honey, you start making money and it change everything, don't it? You start making money or you started being happy, it changes everything, especially when the people around you are not in that same energy. Then it becomes the crap in the bucket type of mentality, y'all, where they want to pull you down if they can't use you, then they want to try to stop you. You know they're saying, uh, if you can't beat them, join them. So most people are like, if I can't join them, I'm going to beat them. <laughs> Just dealing with life here. Like I said here, Scorpio. I understand why you're feeling this way because you're in the Queen of Wands energy, masculine or feminine. So you're very, very confident here. You, you ain't paying them no mind here. It's almost like you have no idea all of the work I've had to do on myself in order to finally be able to uh, change, in order for things to change in my life. And then you could be the only one in your life that is taking the actions towards change. And they don't like it because it makes them have to look at themselves. But like I say, somebody crushing on you, Scorpio. And they know their little boy. What they call him? Boy? Boy? <laughs> you, got, you got yourself a little boy. A little boy. <laughs> you got a little cute little pie trying, 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 trying to whisper at you and things. Ma'am, I pump your gas. Ma'am, I cut your yard, ma'am. Sir, <laughs> what you need? I, I know how to fry bologna sandwiches. You ain't never had no bologna sandwich till you had mine. I feel like you got somebody crushing on you, Scorpios. Why? Because it is destiny. It is fate. It is karma. So something is about to take place here that's going to be absolutely amazing because it is all a part of your, your journey. Uh, things that are about to take place are you have a contract with them. You got another little old child trying to holler at you. Boy, where your daddy? All right, Spirit, what else for Scorpio or your uncle? So you got Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. You got this fixed energy here. Then you got this vivacious Queen of Wands here. All right, Spirit, what else for Scorpios? Oof. Page of Wands. Little old boy ain't want to go nowhere, huh? You may start getting a lot of communication. Ooh, and I like it. Ace of Pentacles for the Scorpios in here. Yep. That's why the Wheel of Fortune is it's, it's almost like you may about to get to some news here that's about to change your life. You remember we just saw change. Step into the change here. You got that leg energy. It says step into your change. This is why the Wheel of Fortune is here because you have a change. Now, like I said, somebody could be finna come to you and make you an offer or you can't refuse. And you may be saying, little boy, you playing. And they be like, little mama, you just don't know how I will get down for you. You just said, try, try me. Try me. Oh, try me. Yeah. And little boy say, you try me and see. You don't know. No, 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 little mama. I see your mama, but you don't know unless you try me. I, I guarantee you. You won't be disappointed here. Somebody say, look here, now don't judge me. And then it could just be somebody here who is very, very respectful of maybe you kind of intimidating to them, but they like, oh, shucks, I'm going to still try to holler that you may be intimidating, but they still going to try to holler. OK. Ace of Pentacles, the chariot, cancer energy. All right, spirit, what else for Scorpios? You want to jump on out? I see you. Uh-uh. Come on. What's going on for Scorpios? There they go. Uh-uh. There they go. See, there's somebody studying you and crushing on you at the same time, and they about to make their move with a big old opportunity with this Ace of Pentacles and with this Wheel of Fortune. It is destiny. It is about divine timing. So you could be pulling up. Look, you can find love on a two-way street. I think you're going to find the pentacles on a two-way street, though. I'm just saying, you may just so happen to walk out. So, like, I remember I did years and years ago. I had just came out of a store. 
And this was years and years and years ago here. And I don't know why I saw that, but I guess it must have just been fate and destiny. I'm telling you. But I walked out and it was nighttime. I think I went to the store. I think I had paid for some gas. I think I paid for some gas. And then when I came, was going to walk back out the store. I look, <laughs> I made eye contact with it. God dang, I said I made eye contact with it. So it didn't have no name on it. It was just there on the ground looking at me like, girl, if you don't hear up and get me off this ground, I belong to you. <laughs> Y'all picked that money up so fast and stuck it in my pocket. Then I got scared because I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know somebody was going to rush back up there. And, you know, you look, I look, 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 look. And I didn't even want to count the money while I was there. And so I was at the gas pump, y'all, and it was burning a hole in my pocket, but I didn't, I didn't do it. I said, oh, I'm going to wait. <laughs> I wanted to see how much it was. You know, I could use some extra money. You know what I'm saying here? Shoot. And so when I finally pulled off, and, and I'm telling you, I was just paranoid. I would not, in my mind, because <laughs> I found some money. I'm thinking, oh, they probably watching me. <laughs> Maybe they finna walk, follow me home and say, you know, I saw you pick that money up. You know, this, this is really what I was thinking here. But I finally pulled up into my yard and I sat there for a minute with my little paranoid self. And I finally pulled that money out of my pocket, y'all, and it was $130. It sure was. And I sat there and I started crying. <laughs> I sat there, Scorpio, in my car, and I started crying because I needed that money, y'all. I'm telling you, at that time in my life, I was younger, man. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, man, see, that makes me sentimental. It makes me emotional because I didn't have nobody to help me. But it's like Spirit was showing me, you don't have to worry about those things. Just keep on, keep on moving forward. Keep on doing what you need to do. Do what you need to do. And I was at the right place at the right time. Spirit was going to make sure I was at the right place at the right time. I remember one time I pulled out of, uh, I was in the parking lot of Sam's and uh, Walmart. And it was a little speed bump there. And for some reason, I had to slow down because I didn't want to go fast <laughs> over that speed bump, y'all. <laughs> And it was cars at the cars at the cars going over that speed bump. And when I got ready to go over the speed bump and I slowed down and spirit say, look, and I look and I'm like, is that man? I'm telling you a perfectly good $20 bill was laid right there on that speed bump. Y'all should have saw me throwing my car apart. <laughs> oh my God. I know it wasn't a lot, but I'm telling you, those are little things that spirit would do for me when I was a young a, a single parent, mother, baby's young, you know, every little bit helped. And Spirit was just throwing me little things because I needed it. And I was like, wow, all these people didn't see this 20. I'm like, well, that 20 belonged to me. <laughs> so what I'm saying is anything is possible. Anything. When you think about the impossible happening, then you give the creator and the universe free range to blow your beautiful mind, Scorpios, and show you things that you never even thought of on your own. All right, Spirit, I just had to share that. I'm telling you, I'm getting teary out. I'm telling you, Spirit, you know, the things that just has happened when you, it's like late in the midnight hour. God's gonna work it out. You know, it's almost like you, you at your wit's end here. See, somebody coming in here to be generous. See, six of pentacles. See, somebody wants to come in here. Ooh, could be somebody could be about to receive some type of government funded. Um, maybe somebody's getting, um, getting a loan approved here or somebody, somebody, somebody from the government. Maybe you're getting approved for maybe something, some type of, uh, uh, maybe um, social security or disability or something. I feel like somebody's about some, somebody's going to get some type of government assistance here that, look, I'm just telling you what I see. Don't come for me. See, somebody's going to get in. This, this is going to change your life here. And you're going to just get better and better and better here. Do y'all know how many people out here in the streets? I'm just saying some people getting government assistance needed. Shh, come on, y'all. So I'm just saying, I hope ain't nobody out here passing judgment because I'm certainly not. Somebody's going to receive some government assistance. Maybe they've had to work, wait on it. I've heard so many people talk about it when they got on and they needed it, that they had to wait so long. You know, somebody may have had to really hold it all together. Somebody could have been in a financial pinch waiting on money to come. And now it's here. 
Ace of Swords, see, because you're going to get the victory here. The High Priestess Pisces energy. So, like I said here, you got this queen. Let's see what you got in here. What kind of cups you got? The only cups you have, Scorpio, is the Page of Cups. So, like I said, some of you guys are, are on your selfish-ish. You back up on your ish-ish. You back up on your... Some of y'all back on y'all stuff here. You may be... Look, you got the Death card. You got the uh, the world card here. You got the high priestess here. It's almost like you're doing something new here. You may have closed out a cycle here. You may have ended some things, and now you back up on your bull-ish. <laughs> you probably ain't talking no more, and people probably pissed off at you, okay? But they don't know what you had to do in the background to transform that it's almost like somebody may have been expecting things from you while you're steady trying to get your own self together. It's almost like, God dang, and when I need help, who am I going to run to? But everybody running to me. <laughs> All right, let's see. So you have the Queen of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. You have the Page of Cups and Cancer, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. You got the Wheel of Fortune, Taurus, Aquarius, Leo, and Scorpio. The Ace of Pentacles, the nine, uh, Six of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. You got the Hierophant, Taurus. You got the Page of Swords, the Ace of Swords, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. And, of course, you got the High Priest. They go to love, baby, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. I bet they do want love, huh? So let's check out and see what's going on with this Queen of Wands energy in you, Scorpio. Y'all showing up like, look. <laughs> You can say whatever, you can do whatever, I'm still going to do me. Okay, you got to do you, don't you? Well, okay, well, will you please let me do me? All right, Spirit, the Queen of Wands for Scorpios. Queen of Wands. Five of Cups. I don't feel like this is you because when this Queen of Wands is a very confident energy, that ain't you crying. <laughs> Heck no. Ooh, and I see why. King of Wands. They regretting. Ooh, they regretting something, honey. I bet they are. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So we're doing this here. So we're doing the King and the Queen of Wands here. So I'm led to believe that both parties is feeling this, okay? Both parties is feeling uh, this this loss because the five of cups is right in between. Both of it's, I feel like whoever, whatever connection this is, both of y'all are mirroring each other. Y'all feel the same way. See there? Look what's in between y'all, the five of cups. It's almost like two people here. Got a lot, of, got a lot of beautiful, amazing qualities about themselves. You miss independent. You know your worth. You looking good. You confident. You all those things. But you're too busy worried about what has already happened that you cannot change in the past. Instead of looking at what can happen. Some of y'all got. That's why you're seeing that fire card. Some of y'all fired up about somebody. Not in a good way here. Because there's a lot of regret between the two of you. Like I said, it's a heartbreak here, Knight of Wands. So it's almost like someone may be regretting how they handled this relationship. Somebody could have just been all about, you know, like I said, you know, because you, we know that as a human, the first thing that usually attracts us to anybody is the appearance. You're not going to know that they're spiritual. You're not going to know that they're intelligent. You're not going to know that they got substance until you observe them or you communicate with them or you spend time with them. So I feel like somebody here got caught up on the attraction more than maybe the love that was in this relationship. Maybe somebody was too busy you know, dealing with their own, somebody was too busy curbing their own lust to consider that there is actually love between the two of you, Scorpio, is what I feel. And I feel like now ain't nobody winning. And it could be somebody else here, could be somebody out here roaming the streets and y'all, and, and now they're regretting uh, out here acting all, all loosey-goosey, okay? <laughs> Maybe this is them wanting to come back in and apologize to you. Here we go. All right, Page of Cups for Scorpio. Why is the Page of Cups here? Ooh, 
<laughs> Four of Wands. Ooh. They say, ain't no sunshine when Scorpio's gone. They say, ain't no sunshine when you're gone. They need some more harmony. They need this relationship to, uh, they, they, they need the passion back. They need the excitement back. Somebody say, look here, it ain't been the same. I'm telling you, I, I done started eating potty meat. <laughs> I ain't eating right out and got constipated. <laughs> I'm running around here looking like I got a bear belly. I don't nobody love me. I'm just alone. See there, they say ain't no sunshine when you gone. This somebody said, can we go back to how things, can, can, can we go back, but can we do it better? Somebody say, I'm sorry, Scorpio. I'm sorry for not accepting the beautiful energy that you brought into my life. I'm sorry that I did not notice um, how precious our connection really is. I'm sorry, Scorpio, because now you're all I think about. Now you're all I yearn for. That's what they saying, honey. That's what they saying. Ooh, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries, because they can't get over you. See, they can't get over you. Of course they can't. Well, <laughs> all right, Page of Cups, 4-1, Scorpios. Page of Pentacles. See, now they're trying to come in here and be, somebody finna try to call you and say, Scorpio, did you eat? See? But I hope, and I ain't gonna say a hope, but I ain't gonna put myself in how you do. Some of y'all got this po child blocked. You got them blocked, Scorpio. Somebody trying to talk to you and make it right. And I'm look. Now, this is for the one who really want this person back. If you don't want this person back, okay, that's cool. But this is how they're coming. They're going to come in here and apologize. They may try to, they're going to do something. It may not be big, big, but I feel like this is an icebreaker. Somebody may, somebody may, somebody probably going to come go give you a copy of the house key. <laughs> They say, you know what, baby, you deserve a house. You deserve a key to the house. You can come by anytime, baby. You can just stay here if you want to. See, somebody's trying to communicate to you, and I feel like some of y'all may have this person blocked. You know how you get, Scorpio, when you, now you know how Scorpio gets here now, Scorpio. You know how you, you know how you fight. Your fight is petty and intense, and if they don't know, they'll learn. <laughs> See, they coming with something. Feel like they finna come try to make it better. Make it right if you want it. They have the wheel of fortune here. Karma. Good luck. Uh, destiny, fates, divine time in here. Good fortune here. The moon, there it is. I feel like both of you guys are afraid, okay? I feel like the reason why you guys have met each other was because you both had the same issue. And I feel like you both was gonna trigger each other to, for your fears to come to the surface so that you can get rid of it and you can freely love, see? Somebody's been afraid of commitments because they've been afraid. But I feel like it's not, and I feel like it's on purpose that you met this person. See? Yeah. See? See? This is this the heal you too. You see, you see how you see how impactful your energy is? 333, you see? You see how impactful you are. So some of you guys, you're, you're elevating through this connection because of the lessons that came with it. You didn't just meet this person just for them to do you wrong. You didn't meet this person just for you to uh, get back or, or whatever. You met this person to elevate because you are the empress with your love here. And I feel like you both are going to learn lessons or supposed to learn lessons about the games we play because we are afraid to just open up and let love be. Because we play games when we feel like they're playing games and everybody play games. It's like everybody play games because they're too afraid to just go all the way in and just allow love to just unfold because that is a natural thing until man starts uh, 
man, I'm talking about the people involved. When people start putting their issues in it, then it becomes weak because of the game. See, it's like you, you, you deprive yourself of the emotional contentment that the love is supposed to bring these relationships. It's almost like you got to play the game in order to love. They call it the game of love here, but that's not how it's supposed to be. But it's just like most people have suppressed their fears or whatever it is that keeps them from totally engaging into something real and fulfilling. And it, it, check it out. It's not all about just marriage. I'm just saying. It's just so you, first you got to be in a healthy relationship before you can even make it to a marriage. Most of these relationships are not even healthy enough to make it to a marriage, but they marry anyway. So your reason to come here, Scorpio, is more divine. See, isn't that your love? Something about your love is very, very healing. It's very nurturing. And this person is guided, was guided to you so that you guys can overcome your own mess that love, the fear of love triggers and brings out and make you self-sabotage it. All right, but you got the Ace of Pentacles. All right, Spirit, what's up this Ace of Pentacles for Scorpios? I feel like this is the opportunity. Ooh, see that? <laughs> Oh my God, your person probably got a big head, okay? Maybe they smart, okay? You see how big his head is? God dang, fella. Mm. Ace of Pentacles, the two of cups here. You see this? It's like the spirit is already laid. It's like my spirit has already laid everything for this relationship to prosper. It's just that people don't choose that way. We choose, we go against the grain because of the fear of the unknown. And that messes up, see, judgment. Make sure they got clothes on, because, oh yeah, I already got them. <laughs> I had to put them clothes on, y'all. See there, judgment. See there? It's about waking up spiritually to what is real here. Who is real? Waking up, answering the love call, answering the spiritual call about really what matters to you on an emotional level instead of suppressing it. This is what they are doing. They are judging you. They are judging how they feel about you. They are judging what they need to do to make things right because they are in love. And once again, I feel like you're in love with them too. See there, somebody here said, they, they said, I know something's gonna grow. Somebody wants to plant seeds to grow successfully in a union. So I believe that somebody has, is, is used to experiencing Somebody may not be experienced, may not be used to experiencing a long term healthy relationship. I feel like every relationships are if they if people get stuck in long term relationships, but you're not happy in it. You just then what have you been doing? And, you know, everybody has to decide what's enough for them. I'm not judging or shaming nobody, but I'm just saying imagine about all the time we you know, we may just give away uh, just to not end up being with that person anyway because it really was not supposed to be for that, but we outstay our welcome, uh, caught up on the illusion of what can be instead of the reality of what it really is. But I feel like this is someone coming out of the illusions of fear and facing them in this judgment towards this connection, which is the two of cups. Somebody wants to grow and build and then he go to, he, he go to work hard. It's almost like spirit say you can have it, but you gotta put that work in. You got to put the work in. Usually the work, usually the work comes with doing it to yourself because we can't change people. Your person can't put their work in on you. They got to put their work in on themselves. And then you got to put their work in into yourself. Then when you come together, then you will be both whole on your own. And then you can uh, balance each other out. But if both parties is imbalanced and not whole on their own, it's not going to work. Because that means you're going to put too much weight on the other person to give you what you're supposed to be giving yourself. So now you got chair, but whoever this person is, with this Ace of Pentacles, they feel like things can really, really grow. They see abundance with you. You know they do because you got the Empress. See, Scorpio? Somebody looks at you like, like you are amazing. Somebody says that you're just a wonder to this world, how you're able to grow things, how you're able to love, how you're able to calm down the beast. Scorpio, with your love and nurturing energy. Ooh, nah, nah, don't get me wrong now. We ain't talking about the stanger. 
I'm just saying Scorpio does has a stinger, but on the flip side of Scorpio, don't get it twisted now. That's why you can't get over Scorpio today because Scorpio got that thing, okay? We all know what that thing is, don't you? That thing, that thing that you are, that, that, that is, that, that you've always had, even before you came into this body, you've always had that thing and you will always have that thing. And that thing is that light that shines brightly on your inside, Scorpio. It comes out and everybody's drawn to it. Now you got the chariot. This is somebody overcoming, somebody moving towards victory and success here, of uh, finally taking control over their life so that they can get the person that they're in love with. And you know they, you know they find you beautiful. They, they say y'all look good together, Scorpio. Is what they say. I think we, I think you had another reading with the king and the queen of wands. I noticed them king, the king and the queen of wands is showing out a lot. So I already know what time it is with all these. I'm just saying. So let's see who you got in here. You got the queen of wands, the king of wands, the knight of wands, the four of wands. The Eight of Wands, uh, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. You have the Five of Cups, Four of Cups, Queen of Cups, Two of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. You have Seven of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. You got Chariot, Cancer. You got Libra, the Empress. You got Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius with the Page of Swords, Ace of Swords, the Empress. You got Taurus with the Judgment here. And you got the Page of Pentacles too. All right, Spirit, what's up with the Chariot for Scorpios? Clarify the Chariot. Why is the Chariot here for Scorpios? Got the higher fence showing up twice too. The cherry, ooh, there they go again, baby. I'm telling you, they finna come lay that big old pentacle. You ain't gonna be able to handle all of this pentacle on your own. See there? Somebody finna come get it right. Somebody's about to get it together, Scorpio. Ooh, Scorpio, are you ready? Oh my gosh, ooh. That's why. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> because, ooh, they own you, baby. <laughs> Could be a Capricorn. Could be an Aries. See that, Scorpio? I told you that's the same energy. That's your soulmate. Ooh, Scorpio. Here we go again. Here we go. Here we go again. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Here we go again. Here we go again with the emperor and the M and F and empress in the Scorpio thing. Mm. Look at y'all. They know they want you. I don't know why they playing them games. I don't know why you playing game. Look at you. You look look how she trying to act like she she's 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 indirectly looking at him and he like you looking at him back. Look at he trying to act unbothered, but he know good and god dang well he wants you to sit in that chair with him. He said, baby, this throne is big enough for the both of us. Come on over here and sit on big dad. Tell 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 Santa what you want. They said, tell Santa what you want, Scorpio. Ooh. There they go watching you and observing you, observing you, Scorpios. They are. See? See, you got it again. See there, Scorpios? They can't keep their eyes off of you. They can't stop talking about you. Why? Because they coming, baby. I said, Dad is home and Dad is home. Scorpio, Dad is coming home, baby. Did, did you wash? Did you wash? I said, you got it smelling all good in there. You must be doing something because you show drawing them back. So I feel like this is for somebody here who been lying to themselves. Probably acting like, but then you may not be lying to yourself. Because like I said, this is what's between the two of you. Somebody is regretting only seeing what they decided to see in this connection here when there was so much more to you. But at the time, they was too busy lost in their lust for you, Scorpio. They were. 
And this is what they gonna tell you. I'm saying this, this is somebody gonna tell you they was too busy lost in the sauce. <laughs> they say, well, yeah, but you didn't give me the Scorpio sauce warning. So how was I supposed to know I was gonna get lost in the Scorpio sauce? You didn't tell me. They got lost in the Scorpio sauce here. See, Knight of Wands. See? When they saw you, they were mesmerized. It's not their fault, really. It's not. What did you do to them then, Scorpio? You want to blame them? Let's talk about you. What did you do? That's the question. Oh, my bad. I already know how you get down, Scorpio. Ooh. Now I got the Page of Swords again. Let's see. The more they watch you, the more they can't wait. It's almost like somebody looks forward to it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Could be an Aries here. Capricorn energy. All right, Spirit, the Page of Swords for Scorpio. Knight of Pentacles, they coming, baby. What you think they've been thinking about? There's somebody here who's been sitting in the cut talking about, God dang, I sure should do something, shouldn't I? I? I need to do something, don't I? I think I need to give Scorpio this big old opera. I need, to, I need to make Scorpio know that I ain't going nowhere. Scorpio knew, and I see if I do this for Scorpio, then Scorpio going to know I'm for real and, and that I want to. Because Scorpio probably don't know, you know. I've been all over here in the Knight of Wands, rushing all around, and you know, and in and out, and playing games and things. Scorpio don't, don't not for she don't know. Why can't Scorpio know what I was playing games? So I'm going to have to prove to Scorpio that I mean business. Oh, Scorpio, somebody means business, Scorpio. Oh, Scorpio, they mean business. They are serious about you. They are serious about somebody person is serious. Wow, Scorpio, they're serious about you. They said, they said, don't mess with the man if you don't want his money. This one coming in here with money, money. Now, so they, they, they said, look, they said, look, baby, I don't want to play no more games now. Now, now, I already know what, 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 if I play games with you, it ain't going to end well for me. So no, 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 I ain't going to argue with you. Now, now, you right. I'm wrong. I, I'm the scum of the earth. You're right. You're just a vessel of light. <laughs> you're just a delicate angel. How dare I? <laughs> They say you're their wish fulfilled here any goddamn way. They want to heal it between you, Scorpio. They say, they say, they say, they say, let's start all over again, baby. Let's just start over. You know, let's start over with, with, with these with these two big old ace of pentacles and this ace of swords. We can we can make the world. Uh, they say, <laughs> Scorpio, somebody said that they can make the world shake. OK, ooh, 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 ooh. this emperor say with you by my side, we can make the world shake, Scorpio. Now you got that six of pentacles. Like I said, they're coming in here to do for you. They're doing towards this relationship that they want to build. They want the harmony. They want you to know that you can trust them, Scorpio. All right, the six of pentacles for Scorpios. Six of pentacles. Ooh, and I like it. Let me run this by you. Just one more time. Yeah, they say, yeah, they want y'all to grow old. They say, yeah, they say, look here, baby. Now I'm going to come in here and change your world, but I'm telling you right now, when we get old, I ain't going nowhere. You can't go nowhere either. We in this thing now. Uh, 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 are, are, are we in this thing or are we in this here a thing? Ooh, Scorpio, they finna bite you. They finna bring you in the family. <laughs> oh, Scorpio, you finna be a part of the family. Scorpio, you about to be in the freaking in crowd. Ooh, Scorpio, you finna be in like Flynn. Ooh, Scorpio, some, and for, somebody, some, for somebody, this person has a wealthy family that they come from. And for others, it's this person talking about that, that they got it and that they're that they're gonna some somebody said they're gonna take care of you and they're gonna treat you right here, Scorpio. Ooh, Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Ten of Pentacles, six of Pentacles, and the Ten of Pentacles here. I feel like they want to, they want to, with the star card, they don't want any indifferences between you because I feel like somebody's ego was in the way here with that Knight of Wands and they're regretting it. All right, Six of Pentacles for my Scorpios. So with the Six of Pentacles and the, there go that world card again, I told you. 
They said, you know what? We're going to start this thing off right this time. He said, no more games like we did when we first, when I first met you. I was all over you. I was inappropriate. Uh, I, I just couldn't help myself. I was, I mean, I, I know it, does, it doesn't make it right that it's because you're so beautiful and attractive, but it still didn't give me the right to cross any boundaries. See, there it is for somebody. There go that T coming up, Scorpio. Because like I said, you didn't cross no boundaries. They did. King of Wands, the Knight of Wands. This is why they are regretting this. See? Because they realizing it was so, it is so, so, so much more to you than what they chose to see. See? That was their problem. And this is why they're regretting it. See? I feel like both of you guys are regretting it because I felt like you, Scorpio, saw the potential, but you couldn't make them love you if they didn't want to. <laughs> you couldn't make them love you. <laughs> you couldn't make them do right. The only thing you could do was just to walk away. And I feel like that's what you had to do. And they know the only way that they're going to see, they're going to have to make it right. See their contract. I told you, like I said, this person said, y'all can start over under a contract this time. Not just as somebody here running around here, Lucy, in the Knight of Wands. No, let's establish this. Let's establish that we're doing. Ooh, I feel my Scorpio help coming in here. They said, let's let let's put it on paper. They said, let's put this here on paper, Scorpio. You can't go nowhere now, and I ain't going nowhere either. See there? You see that, Scorpio? That's what they saying. They about to put it on paper. Ooh, 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 Scorpio. Scorpio got them putting it on paper. <laughs> Hashtag Scorpio got them putting it on paper. Ooh, Scorpio. Oh, my God, Scorpio. I'm telling you, this is what is happening. Oh, my gosh. Now you got the Hierophant again. Now, either... Let's see, because you got the Hierophant with the Wheel of Fortune and the Moon card. I feel like they have been afraid, but uh, the Wheel of Fortune has brought you guys together so that your fears or whatever you have suppressed or uh, laid dormant or you swept under the rug that has played out. You know, this is like the same energy. You meet somebody, it's the same energy. Or you're in and out, in and out, in and out with somebody here. So let's see, Spirit, why is the Hierophant here for Scorpios? The Hierophant. Five of Swords, see? Because like I said, this person used to be manipulative. This person used to play games all because I feel like they did not. They were afraid of commitment. Somebody was afraid of really being happy because somebody felt like if they be happy too long, it wasn't going to last. They go to Ace of Swords, see? But I feel like somebody sees it now just seeing the King of Pentacles. Could be somebody here who has a lot of money and always and always felt threatened that if they hooked up with the wrong person, that they were going to take advantage of them financially too. Like in your other readings, like I keep feeling like somebody always has other people trying to tell them what to do in their relationship. And it's because your person is a boss. You remember, you got the Six of Pentacles with the Ten of Pentacles. You got the Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. This is somebody here who was established, but they wasn't looking for no commitment in those Knight of Wands energy, but they done messed around and fell in love with a commitment anyway. <laughs> now they really want to put a commitment. So now I feel like this person is having to deal with the reason why uh, or, or the thing that makes them happy here. I feel like this is somebody saying that they no longer want to ha play these games when it comes to a relationship because they just want to be happy because I feel like somebody wasn't. And I feel like somebody's had to face a lot of things that they didn't want to face here. And, th and, and in return, that is giving someone victory and a breakthrough. Ace of Swords twice here. Spirit, why is the Ace of Swords here? Four of Pentacles here. Maybe this, like I said, maybe this person was a miser. Maybe this person was selfish. Like I said, this could have been somebody here who got money, took and stuff took away from them. This is somebody here who I feel like had money insecurities here. But I feel like Spirit had the tip. Okay, so this is what this person, they juggled with the idea of, I feel like this was a real struggle for somebody, y'all. 
Should I open up my life? So this must be somebody here who is really, really financial stable here, Scorpio. Should I open up my life? Should I? Shouldn't I? Because what if, what if they just want what I have here? See how you're holding on to this money? We just saw the King of Pentacles in the reverse. But I feel like they're going to they're gonna choose to open up here because they got all these Ace of Pentacles and Wheel of Fortune. I feel like this is how somebody has been in all of their relationships. But when they met you, you challenged them to change, Scorpio, because you wasn't going to settle for it. Seeker Spirit's telling this person that they are a manifester here. But it's almost like this person, that, like I say, this person can, can create some stuff. But I feel like this person has lack mentality or maybe somebody needs to heal from some type of upbringing here. See, that's what I feel like. I feel like this person, uh, in, this person was stuck in relationships. I feel like this person never got it together. But I feel like you meeting this person changed everything. See, 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 see. Like Spirit said, but meeting you is changing everything. You're the one that's going to make this person want to settle down now, Scorpios. See, they're you. You're the one that's going to make this person want to settle down now. See, just saw the King of Pentacles. Somebody was scared of that. But like, I feel like you're going to be the exception to the rules, Scorpios, what Spirit is saying. And the re see, because you guys have this soulmate connection and this past life contract that you both have to feel. And this is the time for you guys to do it. This is why the Wheel of Fortune is here. And Spirit is telling you, don't be afraid. Don't be concerned about the things that you don't see. You're not going to see everything all the time, but you still have to fulfill your purpose here. Don't let nobody uh, dim your light of love. You got it. This is why you're here. That person is coming back, Scorpio. They're coming back for you. But this time, they're not going to be the same person. And I know it's hard for you to believe. That's why Spirit says, stop. Don't worry about the technicalities. Just focus on what your desired outcome is. And for whoever desire, whoever this is, you're going to marry this person. You've made this person change their mind, Scorpio, where no one else could. And that's what I see. And it's all because this was a divine connection and you guys were brought together because of destiny. If you're supposed to. You got some work to do together. And I feel like your work, Scorpio, is going to bring in a lot of healing uh, with this person here. And I feel like they're going to bring in a lot of stability and comfort for you. That's, that's what I feel like. I feel like you guys are going to accent each other. I feel like you got a global, uh, like I feel like, like, like I'm keep saying, I keep saying the emperor and the empress is all about growing the masculine and the feminine in these relationships where they can heal and stand the test of time because they ain't lasting. And if they last and they toxic, but this is a healthy one after someone goes through this transformation and this healing here, Scorpios. See, like I said, Scorpio, you made somebody change their mind when no one else could. And that's on point blank period, Scorpios. All right, Scorpio, this is your reading. If it resonates, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.